Boy, I got started in blueberries as a child, really, when I was just knee high or so. E even when I went away to college, you know, blueberries was still in my life. I would go back to back home during the summer to earn extra money, even through college. So I learned blueberries from my early childhood on and eventually bought my uncle's farm when he passed away. And, and 16 years ago, when we moved here to Kentucky, we sold my blueberry farm there, my uncle's original farm, and moved here to start blueberries. The season with blueberries is most of the year you're you're kind of off. You know, there's there's very little to do in in the off season. The 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 main intense part is when the crop is ripe. And and for about six weeks in the summertime here in Kentucky, we're just feverishly picking berries, which is what we're doing now. And um, the harvest time is the tough time because you know we gross about twenty thousand dollars off of an acre, and that's a lot of pounds of berries moving through and they all got to be picked and packaged and moved out and so we're very very busy for about six weeks I don't get very much sleep I'm a little tired right now and and I'm sweating because it's it's hot here and we're working like crazy I, I've got people filling grocery store orders while we're talking here right now and and it's a hectic time but then the rest of the year it's like a school teacher almost they, they're off in the summer I'm working the summer but I'm off the rest of the year when it comes to the crop I like it out here in the country, in the hills of Kentucky. See, we, we only have about 200 acres of blueberries in Kentucky. And Michigan's got over 19,000 acres of blueberries. And they're just get, gonna get started about the 4th of July weekend up there. We're gonna be pretty much done by the 4th of July weekend. So we've, we've got a wide open market because we beat them to the punch with an early crop. And people drive for hundreds of miles sometimes to get berries from me because there's very few berries here in Kentucky, you know, uh, 200 acres is not a, but a drop in the bucket. And it seems to be an ideal climate for blueberries. We, we get a higher yield off of our bushes here in Kentucky than, than we do up, did up in Michigan. We get more green growth. See, the, the berries are always on the end of the previous year's growth. So in Michigan, they just grow up so high and you'd have berries out here. Here in Kentucky, we get another flush of growth and then we get berries on the end of all those branches. So it, it, I think we get higher, I know we get higher yields here than they do up in Michigan. We're pretty much a family run sort of business. We, you know, it was my wife and I that came down originally, but then my son got into it and my brother and my nephew. And we've got the whole organization of the Kentucky Blueberry Growers Association set up too. So we, we work together as a, a big group there too. So I've got other, people growing bushes for me and bringing berries in and, and we work together to fill some of the bigger orders of berries. We we sell the berries different ways. You know, we've got uh, quite a bit of U-Pick business, even out here in the country where we're quite a bit off the beaten path, which is kind of nice because we have no packaging in that we, and they've supplied the labor. So we do have a lot of pickers out in the field. Typically, we'll have 12 or 15, sometimes as high as 30 pickers picking for me out in the field and they are picking berries that we package for the grocery stores and, and wineries and different, different places that buy berries from us. Um, so that's the two main ways that we sell berries, I guess. A lot of them are sold also right fresh off the farm. You know, we've got several, several boxes that we boxed up that are, are going to be um, picked up here, and, you know, anytime customers come in and out and they order 10 or 20 or, some people order 150 or 200 pounds of berries and they, freeze them and use them through the year. They're, they're so healthy for you, a lot of people you know, stock up on them in the freezer. I certainly like dealing with the people and, and I feel so good about helping people get started in blueberries because it's, it's such a healthy thing compared to raising tobacco for people. We're raising something with antioxidants that, that is really good for people. And, and I can show a, a farmer how to start on a shoestring budget. Um, I, I kind of, I'm a Christian fellow and I, I like helping people and I, I think that, um, you know, if I can show somebody how to make a pretty darn good living and start out with very little money, I, I get a kick out of that, helping people. We're, we're always welcome to, to share information and teach people about how to grow blueberries. We, we, we have people here all the time and, you know, if anybody wants to, to know more about blueberries, they're free to visit us or, or contact us. and, and uh, we normally will spend an hour or two hours with anybody that's interested in getting into farming blueberries. See if they, I mean, we can show them the nurseries, how we propagate the baby bushes, the, 
the, the fields and, and the equipment we use and that sort of thing and see if it's something they really want to consider getting into. So we're free with information and, and, and glad to help anybody that, that, that might want to come out to the farm.